in the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association Appreciation News from Costa Rica. Lands in Love Both a holiday resort for humans and an animal refuge receives a second financial gift from our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai. Fifteen years ago, a group of Israeli friends traveled to Costa Rica and established the Lands in Love Hotel and Resort as well as the Animal Love Rescue Center, which currently accommodates over 700 animals. Their admirable work was featured on Supreme Master Television's Good People, Good Work program in September 2018. Our most caring master contributed 30,000 US dollars to support this noble work with all love and gratitude to all involved whose help created this heaven for the helpless but loving and kind animals in God's blessing. In June 2019, unfortunately, a huge fire devastated the rescue center. They lost the building and many supplies for the animals. Sadly, the place took the life of Chucha, one of the cats who had been with them for many years. During this difficult time, they reached out for financial help. Upon learning of the sudden news, Master immediately sent 20,000 US dollars with love and best wishes in God's grace. And as we read this news, Master will donate another 50,000 US dollars to help further repairing their center of love. May heavens watch over all your souls and help in your speedy recovery. Our association members from San Jose, Costa Rica presented the monetary gift to the Lands in Love Hotel and Resort owners. Rona Stein spoke on behalf of all her Lands in Love associates to express their gratitude to Master. Our sincere prayers for sweet Chucha. We hope all lands in love stuff and rescued animals swiftly recover from this ordeal in the grace of the providence. May your benevolent endeavors continue smoothly for the well-being of many animals in heaven's protection. Sudan receives generous support for education. The Government of Sudan and the Global Partnership for Education, or GPE, a multi-member collaboration and funding platform, signed a 59.7 million US dollar agreement to improve children's learning in Sudan, also co-signed by representatives from the United Nations Children's Fund, or UNICEF, the European Union, a laureate for shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion and Unconditional World Care, and the World Bank, the grant is to be used toward making education more widely accessible to children and strengthening the country's science and value-based school system. Sudanese Minister of Education, His Excellency Dr. Mohamed El Amin El Tom, lauded the significant help provided by the donors. Congratulations, Sudan, and much gratitude, Global Partnership for Education, UNICEF, European Union and World Bank for selflessly contributing to the future of Sudan. May our world shine brilliantly as all children are assisted to realize their innate potential in celestial glory. Five nations donate to fund for climate resiliency. The following countries recently pledged a total of 167.5 million US dollars to the least developed countries fund or LCDF. Canada, a laureate of Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion and Protection. 
Denmark, Germany, a Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion Laureate. The Netherlands, a recipient of Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion and Humanitarianism, as well as a Shining World Leadership Award for Earth Guardian Laureate, and Sweden. LCDF is a part of a United Nations framework to help countries prepare for climate change. Managed by the independent financial organization Global Environment Facility, the fund allows nations that require adaptation assistance to apply for grant support to better ensure food, housing, transportation, water, and energy security. Thank you, Canada, Denmark, Germany, the Netherlands, and Sweden for your heartfelt assistance to our brothers and sisters all over the planet. In Divine Mercy, may more countries work in cooperation to protect every Earth citizen. Shenzhen, China expands parklands to improve ecological development. As of September of this year, 1,090 parks have been established in the city of Shenzhen, China, a Shining World Leadership Award for Environmental Protection Laureate. They encompass almost 39,320 hectares of land, created to allow citizens access to parks within 500 meters. The outdoor green areas now consist of 33 natural parks, 152 urban parks and 905 community parks. In addition, the government aims to enhance and renovate over 40 parks each year to reach a total of 1,500 by 2,035. Great green news, Shenzhen! Kudos for creating more verdant spaces that safeguard ecosystems and promote good health. May the experience of nature bring more joy and wellness to many in the delight of the providence Iranian women are allowed to attend soccer match for the first time in almost 40 years. Jubilant women were allowed to be in attendance at the Asadi or Freedom Stadium in Iran during the 2022 Federation International the Football Association or FIFA World Cup qualifier between the country's national team and Cambodia. Cheering and blowing horns, around 3,500 joyous women celebrated the game and the momentous occasion. One of the female spectators, Zahra Passe, a 29-year-old nurse, said, We are so happy that finally we got the chance to go to the stadium. It's an extraordinary feeling. Our accolades and appreciation Iran for this progressive move and our warm congratulations Iranian women on this historical event. May love and equality be shared among all on this peaceful planet in Allah's blessings. Vegan clothing company to create extreme weather garments. Nicholas Bargi, the founder of vegan outwear company Save the Dock, has been inspired to develop more cold weather gear after meeting Kuntal Joysher of India, the first vegan climber to reach the summit of Mount Everest. In May, Mr. Joysher reached the top of the mountain wearing an overall created for him by Save the Dock. The suit was designed for weather of minus 35 degrees Celsius with winds of up to 100 km per hour. Mr. Bargi plans to start a range of cold weather sporting and outdoor technical apparel by next year. Since its inception in 2012, Save the Duck, which sells jackets with feather-free down, has helped save almost 18 million ducks. Awesome work, Nicholas Bargi, Save the Duck and Kuntal Joysher. Our respectful applause for your compassionate endeavors. May your stellar accomplishments encourage others to live gently in God's love. Trip Advisor ends promotion of sea animal shows. United States-based travel giant Trip Advisor and its subsidiary Viator joins AAA Northeast, Virgin Holidays, and Southwest Airlines in its decision to stop advertising for parks that use whales and dolphins for entertainment. President of Trip Advisor Experiences and Vacation Rentals, Dermot Halpin, said. Whales and dolphins do not thrive in limited captive environments, 
and we hope to see a future where they live as they should, free and in the wild. What a caring step for the magnificent whales and dolphins, trip advisor, and all agencies choosing to preserve our precious wildlife.